The message of Jesus was about being king from beginning to end. Hi, my name is Jason Sage. I'm the minister with the North 2nd Street Church of Christ in Clarksville, Tennessee. You are always welcome to come and worship God with us. We call our series Three Minute Gospels, TMG for short. Let's put ourselves on the clock and here we go. Well, the first recorded words of Jesus in both Matthew and Mark are repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This was at the beginning of his ministry, and three years later, Jesus would meet his disciples as the resurrected Lord in Matthew 28 and say something to them that's very unique and has to do with citizenship and taking of an oath. Let's look at the text and then examine what it says. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. This is familiar text. We refer to this as the Great Commission. Let's read it and see what Jesus is saying. In Matthew 28, 18, it says, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. What Jesus is saying is, I'm king. I need citizens for my kingdom. Go, therefore, and make citizens, make disciples, people that follow me, give them the oath of citizenship, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and then teach them what it's like to be a citizen of my kingdom. Now, if you've never heard it explained that way, that can seem a little as if I'm taking some liberty with the text, but I don't think so at all. We know in Romans chapter 10, there are two things that we must believe and confess. In verses 9 and 10, we must believe that Jesus was resurrected from the dead and confess him as Lord. This lordship idea of Jesus Christ, as we've already demonstrated from the beginning of the gospel to the end, is what his entire message is about. I've been given a kingdom. God granted him the authority over heaven and earth. Because I have this kingdom, he marshals us as Christians to go make other disciples, followers, learners of him, and how do we do that? We baptize them. That's the oath of citizenship. You don't become an American citizen until you take the oath, and you don't become a member of our military until you take the oath. In the same way, you don't really become a Christian until you take the oath, until you express in action that you believe Jesus died, was buried, and raised from the dead. We call that oath of citizenship baptism. Jesus says, if you want to have the benefits of the kingdom, you need to have the oath of citizenship in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be baptized because God is good.